Hi, it's Tabby, and today instead of making a recycled jar, I'm actually making an art doll. Uh, this is my first art doll, and I'm making a vampire bat. And this is actually supposed to be like my Valentine special, but uh, why would I do bats? My boyfriend likes bats. That's why I make, I'm making a bat. This is the first bat that I made him. It's just a clay sculpture, super sculpty, painted. Um, it's not too bad. The texture on the back is awful. But it was a cute little first bath that I made him. It's all little, little toes. This is the second bath that I made him last year. I copied a rare bat that I found on the internet. I thought it was really cute. This one is closer to an art, art doll. I did a little bit more detail in sculpting the feet and the face. Um, and it has opposable wings. It's wire and some cosplay uh, with... Uh, just regular material glued on top of it. Today I'm going to be making a vampire bat and these are my reference pictures. I thought they were cute. I'm uh, using Living Doll Sculpey for the first time today. I use a pasta maker to condition my clay and make sheets. After I roll out a nice sheet of clay and condition this clay, I go in with another reference picture that I had that I printed out so with the skeletal structure so that I could make a good armature and I just basically trace this. I take a smaller gauge wire and I use it to connect and make sure that the, all of the joints are attached and they don't slide and fall off. And I do this at the hips and the neck and the wings. Now that I'm all done with the armature for the body, I can start in on the head. I start with some aluminum foil to bulk it up. I get the general school shape for the bat, and then I take my sheet of Living Doll Super Sculpey, and I cover the aluminum foil ball and shape it out until I am satisfied. And here I am adding some details, starting with the nose. I love this nose. Um, the reference picture, the little nose looked like a heart and that made me happy and I thought it was super relevant.
after I finish with the nose, I move on to the mouth and I cut out a little bit of the clay to because I want a slightly open expression for the mouth. time for the eyes. I take two balls of clay and I put them in the indents in the head and I make a little sink of clay here for the eyelids and I, after I put the eye, eyelids on top of the ball I will smooth out one side to create an eyelid. I'm using cosplay to make the ears because it is a flexible bendy clay even after it bakes and that way it won't break. So I'm making a little triangle and with the echolocation stuff, um, the, these bats have ridges inside of their ears like for gathering sound and I'm texturing that out with a ball stylus and I'll take a little bit of bacon bond and attach the ear. Um, so that it doesn't fall off and I'll smooth it in so it blends into the face. I take a little bit more Sculpey and I put it al along the side of the face to bring out the sides a bit because it, the skull is just too narrow and it doesn't look right. I finish up sculpting the face it at so I finished up sculpting the face an and it's ready to and bake in the oven good. at 275 the degrees Fahrenheit for an hour. Now I also pre-bake some uh, claws for its feet and here I'm putting little uh, wires for toes into a piece of cosplay and I build it up a little bit to also for the thickness of the toes but this keeps the toes um, movable and opposable and so they can actually uh, hold on to stuff apparently nobody cares about taking pictures of feet only the front of the bat it ended up looking pretty cool though this is all of it attached and now I'm putting in quilt batting for my fluff and uh, I just, it's just strips of it and I just wrap it around and around um, until it builds up and like a body shape of a bat. But uh, I'm also going to put fur on this so I have to account for that and not make it too thick and fluffy. This is how it looks. And then I paint the face uh, before I put the fur on because uh, before I fur the face I want to make sure that it looks like there's natural skin colors underneath there uh, but also I didn't want to accidentally paint the fur. There's a lot of pinkish and brownish tones I just try and uh, mix it up and make it a, a, as accurate as I can for the references that I have. I
paint the back feet the same brown that I use on the face. I painted the claws too, but I painted them more like a bone white and I did a really bad job at taking video of this, so there's no video. I'm putting some Fabri-Tac glue on the wire armature and I'm going to put it on this cloth to basically just uh, start the wing material for my bat. I trace out a general shape with some pencil before I cut it, so I've got a general idea of how I want it to look. I should have taken some more time in uh, doing this though, because I ended up, I, I could definitely cut it. some fur. I was terrible at this. I'm not very good at sewing, but I mean it happened. I was pretty proud of the end result even though it took me way longer than it should have and I got a lot of knots in my thread. It looks like a floss fully furred and then I took some scissors to cut it and I, it, I spent way too much time cutting it, um, like hours and hours. I, I should have used some shavers. Here I'm throwing the face, I'm using Mod Podge to attach it because it dries clear and it does a pretty good job at holding things on there. Got the muscle. There he is, flirt, fully furred in the face. Um, I also used UV resin for his eyes. And uh, I used like a nail thing for it. He's starting to look so cute. Uh, I painted the wings with uh, watered down browns. I used some varying shades of brown, but I tried to just make it as natural as I could for what an actual vampire bat looks like. And it kind of just looks like a tea stain over here and towards the body, but. Uh, I think I did a decent enough job. Here's some like darker browns in between the webbing. turned out. He is fully opposable. He, uh, his legs bend and even his little toes bend because they have wire in them so it can do hanging poses. It can do sitting poses and it's soft and squishy like a stuffed animal. I love it. So does my boyfriend. I think he turned out pretty cute. I'm happy with him for my first art doll. Uh, if you want to watch me make more stuff, subscribe.